Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Sorry for not making tutorials recently, it's just I've had a lot of exams. Um, and I've got some next week as well, so there'll be no tutorials next week. But I decided to do this very quick tutorial because it wouldn't take long for me to do. Um, and this tutorial was suggested by Johnny D 187 and he should appear here. His link to his channel should appear over there. And he suggested that I do a tutorial on UI alert views and how to show them after a certain amount of time so say you've got a game app or something like that and you know they're playing the game and after a certain amount of time an alert will pop up and say game over you ran out of time something like that so this is a quick tutorial to teach you how to create an alert to pop up after a certain amount of time so we're going to go new project here and the reason why I'm doing a new project is just because uh, my other one I deleted it because I didn't think we need to be doing any more UI alert view projects so uh, silly me for doing that so we're just going to create a quick UI view based application here. Alright, so here we are, here's our new app. And what we're going to need, if we go into the .h here, we're going to need a timer, and the timer will start the uh, UI alert view, will tell the UI, UI alert view to go off. And uh, we'll also need a void to actually do the alert, to show the alert. So if I just go in here, we need to create an NS timer, and I'm going to call that timer, or more specifically, alert timer. That might be better. There you go, alert timer, and next one is going to be a void. So outside the brackets, uh, uh, whatever that thing is, a little line thing, um, open parentheses, void, close parentheses, and then it's going to be show alert, like that. Save, and go into the .m. Now the reason I'm not skipping anything here is just because that, was, that wasn't very long, so it doesn't need to be skipped. So, first of all, we're going to go uncheck the view did load, and in here we're going to implement our timer. So we're going to go timer, oops, not that. Um, so in here we're going to implement our timer, so we're going to go timer, why is it, oh yes, so I named it alert timer, silly me. Space equals space, open one square bracket, ns timer, schedule timer with time interval, and we don't want that one, we want that one where it says target selector. Uh, we want it to call it now this is what you're going to put so if your if your game lasts 10 seconds for instance and if they don't do something in 10 seconds you'll put 10 seconds here but for the purpose of this tutorial 10 seconds is quite a long time so I'm going to do oh, 5 still quite long but yeah 5 seconds so after 5 seconds the alert will go off target can be self selector is going to be our void that we made so at selector and then it's going to be, what did we name it? I think it was show alert. Yeah, there you go, show alert. User info nil. And we don't want it to repeat, so we can click select no for that. Because if it does repeat, then every five seconds, this alert will just keep going off, which will get a bit annoying. All right, so now we've done that, we're going to go down here, and we're going to create our void. So we're going to type in void here, uh, show alert open square bracket, I mean open curly bracket, sorry. And in here we're going to declare our alert view, so UI alert view, start alert, oops, alert like that, space equals space, two open brackets, UI alert view, alloc, oops, I'm not very good at typing today, alloc, close one square bracket, then it's uh, in it with title, and the title can be game over message you ran out of time delegate self cancel button title uh, return like say return to the main menu I'm just thinking of random stuff and other button titles is going to be nil so it's gonna have nothing uh, and close square bracket semicolon uh, then we're gonna need show alert I mean alert show show like that and then alert release not retain release there you go um, so I know that was kind of fast guys but I'm just gonna go over it now for you so basically in the view did load as soon as the view loads it's gonna start this timer this time is gonna run for five seconds then after five seconds it's gonna call the method show alert and then the show alert method creates an alert view that says game over, you ran out of time, please return to the main menu, blah blah blah, and it just shows it and then releases it. 
Now, talking about releasing, we need to dealloc. Um, we need to get rid of our timer, release its memory. So we're just going to go timer, I mean, alert timer, release. And it's always important to do this, guys, with all your variables you create because um, you're just uh, memory will just clog up in these timers or in these alert views. So you always release it to get rid of memory so the iPhone can carry on running. Otherwise, the iPhone's going to get too much memory and your app's just going to crash. So make sure you release stuff, either whether it be in the dialog or whether it be in the actual method itself. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, guys. Any questions, just put them in the comments. Um, I'm just going to run it now, and I'm going to cut out the building, and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, here's our app. After five seconds, it should pop up with the alert. So that's there you go. So game over, you run out of time, click return. Obviously when I click return nothing will happen, but you can implement code to do that. I ha I do have loads of other UI alert view tutorials telling you how to make the buttons do something uh, and all sorts like that and telling you how to make a UI alert view. I know I just rushed through that there, but seeing as you're looking at this tutorial, I kind of guess you already knew how to do a UI alert view. If you don't, go check out my tutorial. Um, so thanks for that guys, uh, again I have a lot of exams, I've got I think three this week so uh, I won't be doing any more tutorials for this week, um, but feel free to follow me on Twitter, a little annotation should pop up here just to let you know what my Twitter name is because I've forgotten because I'm silly like that, um, and it would also help guys if you click on the ad, what the odd ad in any video every now and then, uh, just because it helps me. Um, so yep, thanks for watching and more tutorials to come soon.